Hey guys, thanks for tuning to the channel. So today's topic is a big one and it's the, the main thing that came into my mind when I first started thinking that I might have MS. And that is, what is or is there a cure for MS? As always, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, but let's get straight into the video now because it's an important topic. I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when you're not around I used to like seeing you in town Now it's strange when you're not around Who's that for? So that massive overarching burning question then, is there a cure for MS? This was something that was really, obviously, when I first started thinking that I might have MS, it was the main question on my mind and it was all I could think about, all I could research. Sadly, there currently is no cure for MS, or at least there's no proven cure for MS. And that's probably due to the fact that it's such a complicated disease. A lot of these autoimmune diseases aren't fully understood, except for things like celiac disease, where they know that if you cut out gluten, you'll cure celiac disease. Well, you've still got the still got the vulnerability to gluten, but if you're not feeding your body gluten, then you're not going to have the reaction and the, the bad side effects that that causes. With MS, it's a similar kind of thing where there's, there's so many different factors at play um, that scientists are scrambling away trying to work out how we can stop this, this terrible disease because it really is, you know, for people with primary progressive MS and, and beyond, it really can be a quite horrific and debilitating disease and that was obviously what was going through my mind when I was first diagnosed and when I first had these issues and so I was praying that there was a cure of some kind. So currently the only treatment options that there are are ones that just suppress your immune system and just halt the disease essentially. So their aim is to slow down the disease progression so that you have fewer relapses and so that this doesn't become in the future primary progressive where it becomes out of control. And so that's the whole point of treatment for MS. There's currently no treatment options for primary progressive, unfortunately, although they are starting to think that the, the second line treatments like Ocrevus and Tysabri can work in, in some way for primary progressive uh, patients. So there is hope on the horizon that some of these treatments will work and they're constantly working on new treatments in that area as well. But sadly, there is currently no cure for MS. All these, all these disease-modifying therapies, as I say, they just slow the disease progression. Um, and so it's a bit of a lottery, really, as to how the disease is going to affect you throughout your lifetime. You don't really know. And so that's why I started just burying myself in the research and the data and working out, trying to find out what else there was. I kept thinking, there's got to be something else you can do other than rely on these drugs that essentially just slow down the disease. That didn't sound to me like beating the disease. It wasn't what I wanted to do. I wasn't just going to surrender to letting this disease take over my life and just hoping that the drugs help in some way. And so that's when I came across, I have came across so many different great doctors, mainly from YouTube to be honest. A lot of YouTube videos, um, a lot of articles across the, the, the internet. Um, and basically the, the main factor that I come across really is diet. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm a big advocate of how the diet affects MS because what I came across in that area was just, it really changed my whole outlook, to be honest. I was really down when I first, obviously, when I first realized that I might have MS and when I first got diagnosed. Um, and when I thought that the only therapy you could go on were these drug mod modifying therapies that just slow down the disease. I didn't want that. And then I came across how diet affects MS. And I really got to understand the science behind it and how, you know, your gut microbiome and having a leaky gut and all this stuff is actually what causes the disease in the first place. And I was like, bingo, that's what I'm looking for because they don't seem to know what causes MS. Um, but all of this research suggests that we do know what it is. It's just really hard to prove because proving anything in the diet field is really difficult because it's so hard to do wide ranging experiments on people's diets because everybody's different. Someone might have a great diet, but they might also smoke. Um, whereas on the other hand, you might have someone who doesn't do the diet, but doesn't smoke and doesn't drink and they exercise really regularly. So they might have better results than the person on the diet. So that's why it's really hard to judge um, the results of a diet on this kind of scale. But from the research and the science behind it that I'm on the best bet diet, so the research that Ashton Embry has done there, when I read through all that, I was just blown away and I could completely see exactly what was going on here. Um, and it backs up what other people on YouTube say. So I follow a lot of Dr. Gundry. He talks a lot about 
lectins and how lectins can really negatively affect you. Um, Dr. Paul Mason as well, he's got some great videos and some great lectures about you know how, it's, how it all stems essentially from a leaky gut, your gut microbiome, and you've obviously got to have the genetic susceptibility in the first place. But at the end of the day, if you cut out all these infectious agents from your diet, then you can stop your body from going crazy and attacking itself essentially. So that really blew my mind. So that really, in my opinion, is the closest we've got to a cure. Um, there's nothing else. I've looked into a lot of other things. So managing stress, breathing techniques. I've been looking into Wim Hof recently and I've been doing some of his breathing techniques, some really interesting stuff there. I'll probably talk about it in some future videos. Um, but the closest thing I think that we actually have to a cure is the diet side. And I will be living proof of that because I'm committing myself 110% to this diet. And so hopefully the, the point of this YouTube channel is that in five years time, I can look back and say, look, I've, got, I've had no relapses. My MRIs are all clean. What I'm doing is clearly working and just spread the word so that more people can understand that this is what's causing MS, and we've got to we've got to learn to eat better, eat whole foods, um, cut out the gluten, cut out the dairy, things like that that can cause the disease to progress. Um, and yeah, as I say, that's the whole point of my channel, really, because I think that, that could be the cure um, that's staring at us in the face in our faces, but we just we haven't quite got the research there to back it up yet to just 100% conclude it. And also, you've got the fact that pharmaceutical companies do not want you to find out that diet could be the cure because they want to sell really expensive drugs year on year. I think MS is like the second most revenue generating disease for pharmaceuticals. So why would they want people to know that it can be cured just by switching up your diet and cutting out certain foods? So, and that's where a lot of science comes from. It comes indirectly from pharmaceutical companies because they, they fund the research a lot of the time. So, You've got a really kind of, it's a really strange area to be honest that, you know, that's, that's what's slowing down, I think, um, the progression of understanding of what could be a cure because all they're looking for is a drug. And at the end of the day, there isn't a drug for don't eat dairy that can cancel out gluten, that can do all this stuff. Because if you're constantly feeding your body all these toxic foods, um, then it's going to keep on having this autoimmune reaction no matter what drug you put in your body. That's my opinion anyway, um, but hopefully this channel is going to prove that as the years go by, that I'm right in that and I can share that wisdom with you guys and we can all kind of, you know, beat this disease together. There is obviously work going on all the time by MS societies, you know, um, that are well funded, that are really working really hard to find an absolute cure. And at the end of the day, uh, that couldn't make me happier if they find a cure over the next couple of years or so, please God. Um, that would be fantastic and then we can all stop worrying um, and you know that that would be brilliant um, but as the current state of play there is currently no cure and so we've got to look into these extra things that we can be doing in terms of the diet and lifestyle managing stress all those extra factors that are at play with MS um, so that we can keep healthy and keep healthy for longer and keep all the symptoms at bay essentially so yes there is no cure for MS unfortunately um, but we've just got to keep doing, like I've just said there, everything that we can in our power to fight this disease. And then hopefully over the next few years, there'll be some groundbreaking research that finds out what the exact precise cause is. Um, and then they can find out some kind of therapy or drug that can combat this. Or it might even be a lifestyle change. You never know. It might literally be the, the exact kind of diet that I'm doing, something like that. You never know. Um, but until that day, we've just got to keep pushing, doing whatever we can to push this disease back and keep it at bay. So thanks as always for tuning into the channel. I really appreciate you checking out the videos and being so active. I've got a load of a really good community that's being built now. So please do drop a comment in the comment section and I'd love to have a little discussion. Uh, let me know any thoughts on the video above. Um, let me know any ideas you've got for any videos in the future. Let me know what you're doing to combat MS because I'd love to know. I'd love to find out if there's any other research out there that I haven't covered that I don't know about yet. Um, so please do drop it in the comments. Um, and as I say, like and subscribe to the channel um, for more videos like this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I used to like seeing you in town. Now it's